Hello Tech Freaks. In this project, we will measure the temperature and humidity using DHT11 sensor module. We will use Blink app for displaying values of humidity and temperature. We are using these components. First is Node MCU ESP8266 CP2102 wireless module. This is ESP8266 node MCU USB cable breadboard 840 point and DHT11 sensor module and some male to female jumper wires first of all attach this node MCU on the breadboard Now take this DHT11 sensor module, connect ground pin of DHT11 sensor module to the ground of node MCU. Now connect VCC pin of DHT11 sensor module to the 3.3 volt pin of node MCU. Now connect signal pin of DHT11 sensor module to the D3 pin of node MCU module. As you can see, all the connections are completed. Download Blink application from Play Store, link given in description. Open it, then create new project. Name as ESP with DHT11. Now click on create. An authentication token has been sent to your email ID. Then add a widget as gauge. Name this gauge as temperature. Then set the range. Maximum range will be 50. Then set the virtual pin. Select virtual pin. Then select V5. Then click OK. Select the refresh rate at 1 second. Again, again select gauge, name as humidity. Virtual pin will be selected as V6, then OK. The minimum range will be 20 and the maximum range will be 80. Now select the refresh rate at 1 second. As you can see, both the gauge has been set up. Copy the received token. Now open the code. We will download the ESP826655 board for Arduino IDE. For this, go to Files, then click on Preferences. Now open the Notepad. As you can see, the link given in Notepad. Click on this link and copy this and paste it on additional board manager URL then click OK now go to tools click on boards then select board manager here search for ESP8266 as you can see ESP8266 board has been downloaded then click close click on tools again then select board then select the Node MCU 1.0 ESP 12E module board. Here, all the settings should be same as shown above.
must select the correct port. My port is COM10. Now I'll explain the code. This is ESP8266 Wi-Fi library that is already installed. This is Blink simple ESP8266 Wi-Fi library that can be downloaded from GitHub. Now we will download the libraries. Search for the Blink ESP8266 Wi-Fi library on GitHub. The link given in description. Download it. Another one is BHT library. This is also available on GitHub. Download it. For the DHT sensor library, you need to install Arduino sensor library that is also available on GitHub. Download it. As you can see, all libraries are downloaded and the link given in description. Now we will include the libraries as shown. All the libraries are included. Now paste the authentication token into the code. Open the notepad. Here it is the authentication token. Copy this token. And paste it in the code. Now enter the correct ID and password for the Wi-Fi you are using. Now define the DHT11 sensor. We are using here DHT11 sensor. You can change it by DHT22 or 21 according to the module you are using in the project. Now upload it. As you can see the code is uploaded and the coding link in description. The LED will blink on ESP module until the code is uploaded completely. Now open the blink app, open the gauge. Now click on play or upload the button on the top right corner of the blink app. Check the status of device whether it connected or not by clicking on status button. As you can see the device is already connected. Now we will heat up and the place the DHT where humidity increases or decreases. You can see the values of temperature and humidity on the Blink application over the Wi-Fi data.